Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to look at how to design a funeral banner in Photoshop. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and don't forget to leave your comment at the comment section below. Alright, so in this video, all the materials that will be used in the video will be placed at the description for you to download to follow the lesson as well. Alright, so let's begin our work. So go to file, pick new and then let's change our unit to centimeters and then our width should be 30 our height should be 40 centimeters and then your resolution reduce it to 150 pixel per inches and then your color would leave it to cmyk color and hit on ok well 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 that is the background for us over there now the next thing we are going to do at this point is we are going to set the background to make it look more attractive all right so i have some materials there that i'll be using so let me go to file go to place and then let me look for the materials that i have in stock so the first one that will come is this one let me place that all right so let me open this now let's open this app to fill the entire workspace like this all right so we'll get something like this so the next thing we are going to do is that let's go to filter and go to blur pick gaussian blur and let's reduce the opacity for that so let's reduce it to 16 that should be 14.0 14.0 and hit on ok now let's come to the opacity here and let's reduce the opacity reduce the opacity reduce the opacity to 70 all right now the next thing let's go back to our file and let's place the next image so let's go and here it is so let's bring that in so open this to fill the entire piece like this and then the next thing we are going to do for this one too is that we'll go to blending option and then let's put this on multiply so that we'll get something like this the next thing we are going to do is go to filter go to blend go to gaussian blend and let's blend this one to out a little bit all right then hit on ok now from there let's reduce the opacity for this reduce the opacity for this too all right so let's put that on 50 percent put that on 50 percent all right so that you get something like this so that is it for us over here now the next thing we are going to do is go back to your shape tool pick your rectangle tool and then let's make a rectangle here like this let's do one here like this all right so right click on this and then go to blending options and count to gradient overlay open the color box open it and then let's come to our test copy this color code copy this color code and let's paste that over here hit on ok now open this go back to your test and let's copy this color code paste that one too over here and hit on ok hit on ok now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to change the angle to 120 so that we will get something of this nature then from there you hit on ok all right now let's push this up a little bit let's push this up a little bit so that we get something at this place so that is it let's pick our rectangle again rectangle tool and draw another rectangle on top of this like this all right now the next thing we are going to do for this is we are going to take off the fuel so come to the fuel and cancel the fuel and then change the stroke color to this very color now come to this side and let's change the stroke to the broken line like this all right so that we get something like this i think that looks uh, perfect over here this look perfect over here all right so the next thing we are going to do at this point is that we are going to our farm go to place and let's bring in this okay okay so that is placed there for us so let's reduce the size to what we want so that we we'll position this 
kuvaa hiyo la jeans okay so guys that is it now let me bring in my guide now so that our work will be in alignment I think this is okay over there all right so okay now the next thing let me bring this down so that we see what is happening all right so the next thing we are going to do at these places we are going to bring in some few things before we start our work so let me go to place and let me bring in the man's picture all right so this is the pic the picture that we'll be working on so let me open this up like this okay and then from here what i'm going to do is that i'm going to rasterize this and then i'll pick my magic magnetic lasso tool and then i'll remove the background for the picture like this okay so let's go if you don't know how to remove image background i have a tutorial at the description check it out from there and follow how to remove image background in photoshop all right so from there i'll go back and then i'll join this that's where i started from then i'll hit on bar space key on my keyboard and ctrl d to cancel the disk to deselect that now let me pick my magic wine tool to take out the white background so i'll just hit around it all right so that we get something like this now we can see that the edges is too rough so let me refine that a little bit Bam. okay now hit on bar space key several on your keyboard to refine the edges all right so that is it ctrl d to deselect that so that we get something like this now let me open this up a little bit to somewhere like this all right i think this is cool over there all right so that is it guys that is it guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel for more videos all right So you position this well at this place like this now i want this to do some few adjustments to this so what we are going to do now is that i want it i want the picture to be brightening a little bit all right so let's see what is there so i want it to be brightening a little bit so we are going to do some few things to this so let's go to our brightness and then close the close this one over here and then let's adjust the brightness a little bit let me put it on on 10 and then let me put this one to on three so that i think this look uh, somehow okay or oh, let's move it backwards and see you know i think this one is a bit okay over there all right so this is good for me and let me add some small curve to that as well let me add a curve all right so then let me add a little level as well i think this is okay this is okay now all right so the next thing we are going to do over here is we will start adding our test but before we start adding the text please let's take our take your pen tool and let's do some few work so we are going to make some designs over here all right ok 
aqui. Okay, then let me zoom out so that you see the work well. Okay, so I can then rotate this to sound well like this. Okay, now the next thing is let me right click on this. Let me right click on this and go to blending options. And let me add this gradient. Let me add the gradient to it. So let me add a code. And the code is D5 36 4D. I apologize for the background noise. Kindly forgive me for the background noise. E34 Two two zero and hit on OK. Now let's hit on OK again and then let's reverse the color. Let's bring our cursor out like this and drag this one in a little bit. All right, so that we get something like this. All right, so the next thing is let's duplicate this. Right click on that and select duplicate layer and hit on OK. Now bring this to this very end like this. Alright, so go to edit, transform path, and let's flip this horizontal, push it in to position it properly at this place like this. Alright, so you get something like this. The next one is let's go to right click on it again and duplicate that again. Move the duplicated one to the top over here. Now rotate that to get something like this. And now you can position it over here duplicate that again and move the duplicated one to this place okay so let's duplicate this and then let's go to edit transform path flip vertical Let's go back to transform path and let's flip that horizontal so that we get something like this. Now rotate that like this and let's push this inside like this. And then you can then rotate that. And you can then push it in. Okay, so I think that is okay over there. Alright, so that is it. Now let's begin to type our our test now. So pick your type two and then let's come here let's change the color for this to white hit on ok increase the size and change here to black now let's go to our font and let's change the font to uh, going to change the font to let's see this one no that is not the font I'm looking for the font I'm looking for oh, let's see this one I don't think it's somewhere here I think that is it over there so let's go back to our work and let's copy this and paste that over there like that now open this up let's go back and copy this one and let's paste that to over there so that you get something like that okay now position this properly okay i think that is good over there let me move it to the top a little bit all right so let me duplicate this ctrl j to duplicate that and drag this down like this select all of these 
and then now copy this one and paste that over here now let's see the font of for this to allegria and let's put that on black and let's open this okay okay Alright, so now let's work around this. So go to FX and then let's drop a little shadow for this. So the shadow is going to be 8. Our distance is 8. Our size tool should be 8. Our spread should be 3. And then from there, you hit on. Let's change the angle to 90 degrees. Now let's hit on OK. Drag this. Drag this effect or copy that go down alt and drag the fx and place it on this one all right so that is it over there for us let's open our character box and let's reduce this one a little bit all right i think that is okay over there let's move them to the top Alright, so that is it over there for us. Now the next thing you are going to do, pick your type tool. Pick your type tool. And then let's go back and change the font to area like this. And reduce the size. Let's reduce the size. Go back to your test and copy this. Now paste that over here like this. Move this to this very end. Now let's okay and let's reduce the size for that as well. Alright, I think that is okay over there. And bring it down like this. Now go back to your shape tool and pick a rounded rectangle and change your radius to 50 pixels. And let's make a rectangle to be beneath that so that we get something like this all right and change the color to something like this i think this is very color will be okay and hit on okay now let's center this properly all right Think that look a bit okay now let's reduce the size again let me change this to 20 okay and let me center this and center this one too Okay, now let's position this properly at this place. I think this is looking good. It is looking good. So let's right click on this and duplicate that. Move it, move the duplicated one to this side, like this. Pick your type tool, highlight this, go back to your test and copy this and then paste this over here like this now change the font size from black to bold italic like this come back to this place duplicate that control j to duplicate all of that and let's move down, go down shift to get perfect alignment and move it to this place like this. Pick your type tool, highlight this, go back to your test and copy. 
copy this Ctrl V to paste that over here and now highlight this one to copy all of this and now paste that over here now let's zoom in and see what is happening all right so i think that looks perfect over there all right it looks good but i want us to move this i want to move this in So that we get something like this i think this is okay over there all right so that is it now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to duplicate this right click on that and duplicate the layer like this now move this to the top part over here like this click your type tool and then come to your type and copy all of this and then paste that over there like that all right let's reduce the size for this let me zoom out so that we'll be seeing the work so let me position it here like this okay now let's enter that control a and let's enter it Ctrl D to deselect. All right. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to come to we'll come to the rectangle here. Right click on that and come to copy layer style. Let's go back to painful. Let's go back to painful exit. Right click on it and then select paste layer style all right so that we get something like that now let's come back to the painful exit go to fx go to drop shadow and then let's work around the shadow for that so our distance should be eight your spread should be three and your size should be three as well all right but you can change it anything that is suitable for you all right now let me bring in this a little bring that down a little bit to something like this now the next thing you are going to do is that let me go to far go to place and then let me bring in this flower all right so let me drag that to this place like this then let me reduce its size and now I can then position it to somewhere here reduce the size a little bit again think let me then flip it a bit so that i'll get something like this all right now right click on this go to blending option and then let's give it a stroke change the stroke color pick it from here to twice like this hit on ok hit on ok now right click on this again and duplicate that layer click on ok now move the duplicated one like this now go to edit go to transform and flip that horizontal so that we get something like this now let's select the two and now go to center them properly ctrl a and let's center them at this place ctrl d to deselect now let's move this one to this place like this Select the two, control A, and let's enter them again. All right. So this is looking good over there. So we can leave it now like that. But I will get something like this. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is go back and pick your rounded rectangle and then make a shape like this over here. Okay. Now let's 
position this position this at this place like this okay i think this is looking good over there now let me come back to this place and then right click on that and let me copy let me copy the layer style and then i can then go back to my rectangle and then let me paste that layer style over there all right ctrl a and let me center that okay ctrl d to deselect i can then close this up a little bit bit close it a little bit like this all right now position it properly all right now the rest is select your type 2 all right and then let's type here or sorry let's change the color mm, let's change the color to black for the main time and then let's type the or friends and same pack tie zest are cordially invited okay now pick that pick this and bring it on top of this reduce the size reduce the size and place it on top of the shape drawn like this okay now let's go back and change our font to area mover and then let's pick bold italic like this now we can change the color to white okay okay now let me select these two and center it okay now what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to drop a little shadow for the rectangle so let's play around that and put this on four and then let me put this one two on ten okay now i can hit on okay so that i'll get something looking nicely like this all right so the next thing let me pick my type tool and then let me type here aged okay let me open this up a little bit like this i think this is looking perfect over there now let me close it up a bit again so something like this okay i think this is good now let me duplicate this ctrl j to duplicate that and bring it on top pick your type tool and let's type here 56 pick your type your move tool and then let's open this let's open this up like this now let's go back and change the font to uh, something like uh, this time around i want to use the um, i want to use a perfect font so let me use the gilsan's empty okay and let me put that on bold okay so that i'll get something like this okay then let me close this to 10 okay let me reduce the size for this to something like this okay then let's drop this one a little bit let's push this okay i think this is good all right now the next thing we are going to do is we are just going to put down the few informations that we have left all right so let's bring in the first one okay so let me copy all and now let me paste that over here let me change the color for all of them like this 
for now close them down a little bit then let me close it down again I think this is looking good over here okay pick your type tool and let's change the color for this to to a color from here like this then we can then hit on ok let's change this one to this one too we can change it to a color like this now hit on ok hit on ok let's reduce the size a little bit i think that is looking good looking perfect so let's enter this ctrl d to deselect now ctrl j to duplicate that and bring that down okay let's copy this and let's paste paste that over here Okay. Let's select this and let's change the color to this color. Okay. Alright, so guys, that is the design over there for us, okay? This is the design. This is our banner. This is what we want to design. Now, let's do another thing to this and see what will happen. So, let's duplicate this Ctrl J and let's duplicate the main picture. Now, open this picture up. Open it big like this. Okay to somewhere position it properly to something like this now come to the layer side over here and bring the duplicated picture down the main picture okay so we'll get something like that so that will get something like this now what we are going to do next is we are going to reduce the opacity for this to create a water map beneath that so reduce the opacity so I prefer our opacity should be somewhere 8. I think 8 is too small. So let me bring it back to 10 and let's see. I think the 10 too is uh, looking a little too small. Now I think the we can put it on 20. Okay, I think this looks good over there. Alright, so guys, that is the design for us. Please don't forget to subscribe and also leave your comment at the comment section box below. Until we meet in our next tutorial. Bye-bye.